welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another week's video so before i get started and tell you guys what this video is about um don't forget to like comment subscribe share the videos um tell all your friends and family about it but yes anyway so today i'm gonna make a kentucky butter cake i've never made one before so hopefully it's good and it turns out good um all the ingredients i need are right here um you need non-stick spray and flour to grease your pan but you also need flour for the cake um cup of buttermilk i have vanilla extract and rum extract salt uh, baking powder butter flavored shortening five room temperature eggs and then a few sticks Ooh, this is super soft of room temperature butter so and the recipe will be linked down below as well and also I'm not gonna lift it up because it's heavy but sugar so yeah let's get started Apologies for my voice, I'm still battling a cold, if you've been here before. So my name is Megan, this is my sister, and I'm doing the voiceover because she does not like doing voiceovers. So you're going to start by taking your bunt pan, you can use any kind of bunt pan you want, but you're going to want to butter and flour it. You can use Baker's Joy, um, regular old butter and some flour. She's using spray uh, canola oil and flour and coating the inside of the bunt pan and the ring of the bump pan very well. If you're interested in this recipe, the link to the recipe will be down below. But now she's going to take two sticks of unsalted butter at room temperature and a half a cup of buttered flavored shortening. I'm going to cream those together until they are combined. Now she's going to add five eggs at room temperature and three cups of sugar. She's going to alternate adding the eggs and the sugar and you mix after each addition just until combined.
Next goes two teaspoons of vanilla extract and one quarter teaspoon of rum extract. Next you'll be adding one teaspoon of baking powder, a half teaspoon of salt, three cups of all-purpose flour, and one cup of buttermilk. You will be alternating between the flour and the buttermilk. So it'll go flour and then buttermilk, flour and then buttermilk until the batter is excuse me, combined and fluffy. You're going to spoon the batter into your pan, give it a few shakes to release any kind of air bubbles and make it level. This will bake for one hour in about 15 to 20 minutes in a 325 degree oven. You'll know it's done when you put a toothpick in the middle and it comes out clean. Once it comes out of the oven, you're going to take a toothpick or a skewer, something that'll make small holes, not too small but not too big, and you're going to poke the cake all over being careful not to go all the way to the bottom and let it cool. For the butter syrup in a pan over medium low heat, you're gonna need one and a half sticks of unsalted butter, one and a half cups of granulated sugar, and one third cup of water. You're going to mix that and let it dissolve until it melts, becomes thicker and a little bit foamy. Make sure to not boil it. Once it gets to the consistency that is required, you're going to take it off the heat and stir in one teaspoon of vanilla extract and a half teaspoon of rum extract. Once 
want to spoon the butter mixture over the cake so it goes down into the holes. You're also going to reserve about a quarter cup to a half cup of the mixture for brushing on the outside of the cake. After you pour it all over the cake, you're going to want to let it sit for 10 minutes or until the syrup is no longer sticky, but no longer than that or you may have trouble getting the cake out of the pan. Once you carefully remove your cake from your pan, you're going to let it sit for an hour and then reheat up the syrup and brush it all over the outside of the cake. With us, this was Christmas Eve and so we did not eat the cake until Christmas Day. So she was able just to refrigerate the rest of the butter syrup and then when we were ready to serve the cake, she heated it up in the microwave and then brushed it all over the cake again. This cake was really, really good. It wasn't overly sweet. It was very time consuming my opinion it tastes more like a pound cake and i thought some like strawberries on top and maybe some whipped cream would be really good but i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you on the next one don't forget to subscribe bye